All right, it looks like uh, looks like we defended the village. Woo! Dawn arrives and we survive the night. We are Damn victorious. Right. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these Damn great right. beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Yeah, you're welcome. Let us bow <laughs> our heads and give <laughs> honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their Maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. Remain silent. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Sweet! Alright, so that's done. Throw out a bit of a save poo And uh, let's just continue. We also need to meet him at the mill. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Like, I don't have the skill to open those things yet after the level 3. So we're gonna have to wait for that. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost level 8, so I can almost unlock the next uh, level of lock picking, which is really cool. Actually, you know, I did not go to that windmill. I think before I talked to him. Yes, yes. Uh, Splinter steel gloves. Let's take this. Very lovely. Let us soak in the vista before the massacre begins. Indeed. Hi. 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 Let's check you, Alistair. What what armor you got? got one twenty. You got uh, one ninety. Okay, I got some. I got some gloves for you, Dan. Right here. There you go. As for me, me, uh, I'm gonna keep the one, I'm gonna keep the 90 months ago. Uh, you, you are for some reason wearing iron gloves, which is kind of weird. But, uh, I would think you'd be more of somebody to wear, uh, leather gloves, but whatever, whatever suits your fancy. this crossbow but not right all right then let's go just let's look inside the windmill really quick see if we missed anything in there because I didn't check that earlier and um, then we'll talk to uh, what the hell's this you see this that looks pretty weird I don't know what the hell that is but that looks kind of weird this is I'm suspicious of that the whole thing here is also broken like, this isn't working at all Damn, this is gonna need some major repairs. Anything on this side? Of course there is. It's a crate. With a love letter. Hello. Codex update. Let's check this out. Love letter. A collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their <coughs> objects of obs uh, uh, obsession. You are filthy, a beast, such depravity I have never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. <laughs> what the hell? I, you're, 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 you're filthy, but I love you. A dirty maggot, I love you. Kiss me. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Alright. Morticia. Hey, Bantigan. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after Word. the village was secure. There is a secret passage here in the mill, accessible That would explain the hole and the magic stuff. That's convenient. Perhaps I should have gone into the castle earlier, but I could not leave the villagers. Maker's breath. What the hell? 
Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. This could be an ambush. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Oh, Why what are a... you here? B. They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. What about this mage you mentioned? He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghains hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. What about the Arl? Is he still alive? He is. He is being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Hmm. Yeah, you think he was some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. Enough questions. We need to know what to do now. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. Yeah, no, oh, no. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Go for. What choice do either of us have? If your business with Eamon is important, you're going to have to go inside to find him. He's right. Without our Eamon, we'll never get the support we need. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. 
Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. I understand. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. One fool plan on top of another. <laughs> but I You're not gonna like no this. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Minus heart would stand. Oh, no. Certainly nothing. Alright. Throw out a quick save right there. What the, who the hell are you? Move along, Frank. Okay. Thank you. Kind of a dick move, 